Hello and welcome to our Woof From Home event series. Today we are gonna be doing doggy DIY and I could not be more excited because nothing is more my jam than just treating my pup all the time. Um, I am Sierra, I am the Senior Marketing Manager here at Healthy Spot and I'm so glad that you're able to join us. Whether you are a brand new member of the community um, and this is your first time, I think this will be a great introduction. Um, part of our mission is really to inspire healthy pet lifestyles and you know, what's healthier than baking a healthy treat at home filled with love for your pup? I don't know. Um, and if you're a returning pack member, we are so grateful for your support during this time. We know it's been rough. Uh, it's been rough for all of us. I think my dog is very bored. He's like, come on, mom, let's get back to our normal life. Um, so we're trying to just create these little moments that you can share with your pup that make things special and kind of change it up while, while we kind of get back to whatever the new normal is. Um, so with that, we are going to be making dog pup cakes today. Great for a birthday, great for a celebration, great for really any time. <laughs> we are gonna be making a pup tail. So if baking really isn't your thing, I'm not a baker, but I'll bake for dogs. Um, if baking really isn't your thing, you can just do a quick and easy pup tail. And then lastly, um, if your dog's more inspired and has more of an affinity towards toys, we're gonna be making a toy actually using just an old gym t-shirt or I mean, any t-shirt that you don't want. Um, so we'll be putting a toy together for them as well. Um, throughout this video, I'll be kind of walking you through the different steps of these tutorials, but then also if you click down in the uh, notes on YouTube, you will also see them there. So you can get the full ingredient list, um, shopping list, kind of whatever you need, um, and additional instructions. So with that guys, here we go, let's doggy DIY. First, we are gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you how to make cupcakes. Uh, so here is your ingredients list or the things that you'll need. Um, you're going to want a muffin tin. Uh, pro tip, use these foil liners. Um, because we're going to be baking with meat and essentially making kind of like mini meatballs, I find that the foil liners really help to get them out and to feed them. It's really important when you feed them that you take them out of the foil because these pup cakes are going to be so good, your dog's going to want to eat the whole thing. Um, and we don't want that. That's not healthy. That's not a good snack. Um, so put these foil liners in for baking and then when you serve them, just take them out of the liner. If you do not have foil liners and that's not an option for you right now, just, um, I use this coconut oil from Trader Joe's. You just line the rim of the cupcake tin and then that will um, make it seamless to come out as well. Okay, so now let's go through our ingredient list. And like I said, guys, your dog isn't gonna be super picky usually about these. They're gonna know that they're made with love and that they're super yummy ingredients. So if you don't have one or two, don't stress about it. Uh, just kind of toy to make it your own. Most important ingredient is gonna be your dehydrated mix. So I like to use this uh, mix that doesn't have additional protein in it since I'll be adding in turkey. Um, but this is the fruit and veggie grain-free base mix from Honest Kitchen. My dog doesn't eat grain, so I use the grain-free mix. You can use the mix with grain and it's gonna make it a little fluffier and make it look a little more like a, a real cupcake. Um, but I like to use this uh, to not overload them with too much protein and because this is just a treat for me and like I mentioned so we here we have um, organic ground turkey 93% lean so I like to use the extra lean one I don't think it's good to use um, a lot of fat my dog doesn't do well with a lot of fat um, so that's why I use the extra lean another tip on this I use turkey because that's my dog's protein preference you could also use ground chicken ground beef uh, really whatever you want but something I think it's, it's essential to clarify is that when you buy meat like this at the grocery store, raw meat, you cannot feed it to them uh, raw, raw. <laughs> because when food is packaged for grocery stores, uh, they know that we're gonna cook it uh, before we eat it. So there's a certain amount of pathogens and bacteria that are allowed on the meat uh, in human grocery stores. So it's gonna be completely different than what you're gonna find in a raw food diet in a pet food store. So that's kind of a common misconception. Today, we're gonna be baking these in the oven, so you're totally good to go. Your dog's gonna be totally safe. Um, so we have the ground turkey, then you're just gonna use one large egg. Key ingredient is the organic pumpkin. Uh, so you can find this at Healthy Spot. 
um, but truly you can use any pumpkin. Uh, this is great for binding uh, the pup cakes and also great to settle your, your pup's stomach. Um, I use this as a natural way anytime they're having a or <laughs> anything that's unsettling to their tummy like that. Then you'll do just a dash of ground cinnamon and today we're just feeling fancy. So we're also gonna put in some of these Mind Body Bowl beef liver treats. Single ingredient, no GMOs. Um, George, my dog loves these. And so just to create like a little extra special recipe, I'm gonna throw those in. And lastly, as a topper, because right, I'm feeling extra, these are the Holistic Hound Full Spectrum Hemp and Mushroom Bites. Um, so these are gonna, you know, help your dog calm down a little bit. Not as much as say like you're just gonna feed them oil or these um, alone, but I know in my neighborhood, I've had so many fireworks lately and 4th of July is just around the corner. Um, so these, I think it'll be kind of nice to change it up, make it a treat and also um, calming. So now that we have all of the ingredients, let's mix them all together. All right, let's get into it. I hope you are doing this along with me um, because your dog will thank you at the end. And they're gonna smell so good, you're gonna wanna eat them too. So first, first thing we do is mix the Honest Kitchen mix. Um, so I have about one cup uh, measure out. The great thing about baking for dogs, they're not gonna mind if you like mess it up a little bit. That's why I like baking for dogs and not people. Um, so you're gonna add about I do a one-to-one -one mix. So one cup of mix, one cup of water. And at first, you're gonna mix it up. It's gonna look very watery. You're gonna wonder how, how would this make a cupcake? But I promise you it will. We actually, um, if you have been to a healthy spot event, let's say like a Halloween bash or a grand opening, something common that we do is a dog eating contest, whether the pumpkin pies or cupcakes, or we've done a couple of different varieties. They've also, they've actually all used this as a base, as like the base ingredient list. Um, and I've made a lot of those cupcakes, so I consider myself a pro, so you're in good hands. Okay, so here you have your base mix. As you can see, it's pretty sloshy at this point, but as we add the other ingredients, it's going to get thicker. One cup of ground turkey. And I'll also just put the egg in here while we do this. If I was just baking by myself at home with my dog, I would probably mix this with my hands I promise they're clean, uh, but yeah, lots of hand washing lately. Um, but for now, I'll just use it with a spoon. And so you can use it with your hands if you want to make like a grody experience, <laughs> or you can mix it with a spoon. I would not recommend a whisk because it's pretty chunky, so it'll really get stuck in there. It also doubles as an arm workout, so. <laughs> okay, and now you can can see it's getting nice and thick. Pumpkin. You can also um, use sweet potato. So sweet potato, um, if for some reason your dog is just down for sweet potato, you can use that too. Okay, mix that in. You guys, this smells so good. <laughs> um, it is human grade ingredients. So technically you could eat these as well since we're baking them. Um, they pro you probably want to add a little salt, uh, but we always say at Healthy Spot HQ that if there was a zombie apocalypse or something, we'd be all good because we would have an honest kitchen uh, to live off of. I don't know if that's the life I want to live, but I could do it. And then just a little cinnamon. I don't measure it. I just put a dash. Um, and lastly, our mind body bowl treats there's already a good amount of protein in there um so i'm just gonna add a half can for it there we go and you're gonna mix it all up okay voila we have our pup, cup cake cupcake mix and then we have our tin ready so we'll put these in the tin 
I do about one spoonful per. I don't like them to go over. They're not gonna rise like a, a normal cupcake, but I'll kind of show you guys how I do it. And I try to make them pretty and clean because George really cares about the presentation. But you know, if you're doing it for the gram, you want to make them look cute. So each one, when you're done, should look about like that. And they're gonna be sloppy. This isn't gonna look exactly like a human cupcake. Okay, so let's quickly put these in. By now your dog should be coming out from his bed or under the bed or from around the house because they're gonna start smelling gonna be good the other great thing about this is I just have one dog um, in my household you can actually uh, freeze these as well um, so you can just stick them in the freezer and take them out um, on days when you want to give them a little extra something another note on this is this is a doggy DIY tutorial um, however all of these ingredients are healthy for cats too so if you have a cat at home that you want to feed as well just go for it um, it wouldn't be a complete diet. Uh, you need taurine for that. Um, so I guess if you, you could also do a variety of this um, with the Honest Kitchen cat mix. Um, but as a special, just like kind of one-off treat, it's perfect. Please, 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 guys, when you cook these, you know, I'm not a, a professional Instagrammer. I'm just a dog baker. Um, when you guys finish these, because I know you guys are gonna do these at home, um, please, please, please tag Healthy Spot and show us what you made uh, because we geek out on that kind of stuff. We love extra dog mom and dads who are spending their weekends and days baking for their pups at home. But I think now I know a lot of families um, lately have been celebrating their dog birthdays, whether it's in a small or a big way. Uh, at Healthy Spot, we actually host birthday parties in our stores, um, in our dog, in the stores with small dog daycares. Uh, so you can book those um, through our website um, or by contacting us. But we've kind of put a hold on those for right now, um, which is a bummer for all of those dogs celebrating birthdays these summer months. But no fear, pup cakes are here to brighten up their time at home. So. Okay guys, it looks like I ran a little short on the recipe, not too bad. This made enough for 12, and some of them will probably look a little prettier than others. The last thing I'm gonna do, and just to make them kind of look cuter, is put these holistic home treats, and look, they look like little hearts, on top as an extra bonus. You, of course, could put, I think something else that would look cute is the Grandma Lucy's uh, Teddy's Grams. Those are really cute to put on top too and look fun. Maybe if they're a boy, you want to do a Teddy Gram, girls get hearts up. Or either or, you know. Okay guys, well, so now what we're gonna do is I've preheated the oven to 375 and we're gonna stick these little puppies in for about 20 minutes. Um, you just want to make sure that the meat is cooked through, but otherwise, you know, there's no, you can burn them. You could definitely burn them, but otherwise your dog's not going to be counting how many minutes you put them in the oven. And just like that, guys, we're ready to go. Okay. See you guys in about 20 minutes. Okay guys, the anticipation is over. We finally have our pup cake. So it's probably smelling nice and good in your house by now. Uh, here is our final finished product. So proud, I can guarantee you, when I bake for my family and friends, it does not look like this. <laughs> uh, but we have them in foil for now, just as a final reminder, make sure to take them out of the foil before you feed them. But this is gonna be a great addition, just for a special day or a play date with a, your other pup friends. Um, what I like to do is you can get these just bamboo little bowls or anything, and you're just gonna flip them over. 
We want the treat showing. You can put it like this. And you'll want to feed it just like that. There you go, guys. There's a cupcake. Thank you so much for joining me on this cupcake journey. I really hope that, that your pets enjoy them. If they do, remember to tag at Healthy Spot on Instagram and share it with us. Um, we'll try to reshare it if we can, but we would love to see your recipes and any spin on it that you did. So thank you guys. And with that, we're gonna jump into pup tails. Okay guys, let's talk about pup tails. Um, maybe baking isn't your thing. Maybe you don't have time to bake or get those ingredients and you just wanna do something quick and easy at home that, make your, that makes your pup feel special. Um, these are some pup tails that we commonly make at Healthy Spot. You'll see them at our Yappy Hours and our different events, uh, but they're really fun and cute. We love to post them on Instagram, little dogs sipping martinis, but uh, secretly they're getting some really great ingredients that are gonna support their health. So the first one we're gonna make is a little pup teeny right here. I'll give you guys a little closer look. So as you can see, just a little elixir in there, a little freeze dry and make it fancy. Garnish is key for pup mixology. Um, but what we used is we used this beef bone broth. This is a mind body bowl bone broth found at Healthy Spot. It's in store only because it is a frozen product. Um, so it's in a, in a freezer. Um, but as you can see, there's so many benefits. This is one of my favorite products. You can use it in their food every day. For George, I feed it in the morning. Um, especially during the summer, he seems to have more allergies and skin issues. So this really helps um, his immune system, jo joint support, um, and it's all grass-fed. So you can really feel safe and good about feeding this product. I do the beef um, just to change up, uh, add a little more variety to his diet, but you can also do the chicken as well. Um, and what we did is we started with the bone broth. So I do about one ounce. Um, that's a, a, day, a good amount of a daily serving. And then I also added a new product from Primal. They're their edible elixirs. Um, this one I like to use the most if I'm feeding dogs that I don't know because it has a very pungent aroma because it's Omega Muscle Melange, I want to say. I'm 90% sure <laughs> I'm pronouncing that right. If not, you guys can see right there the title. Um, it definitely has a, a pungent odor, which makes dogs really keen to eating it, um, which is key for this, right? So that um, we just garnish with a little beef liver, mind body bowl treat as well. But as you can see, let's say you're having a play date at home or you wanted to create an Instagram moment for your dog, you can buy these little martini glasses at any party store and it makes for a fun little surprise for them. If you wanna keep it super simple, um, I recommend this is one of my favorite ingredients, period, in my dog's diet ever. Um, it's raw goat milk. Um, this is the Answers brand. I like this one because it has cinnamon uh, and raw honey in it as well. This is like a probiotic for your dog. So I feed this in the morning. I just add it to his food. It's so palatable. If the um, temperature, some dogs, if you feed it at first and it's cold, they'll be a little averse to it. Um, but if you feed it at room temperature, this is I think my dog's favorite thing favorite treat in the whole world and it's so good for them. Definitely noticed a difference um, with itching. He gets hot spots. Um, so this is a key part of our diet, his diet. <laughs> he definitely, definitely eats healthier than me, but probably I'm one of many pet parents that can relate. And these are just so cute. They're little um, beer mugs, also found in a party store. And as you can see, we just put the, the goat's milk right in there. I didn't add anything to it. Uh, but it creates a fun little moment. Uh, they look like they're chugging a little beer, um, 21 and older only. And um, it's really just a nice way you can spend some extra time or put a little thought into your pup for the day. So these are two pup tails. You can feed every single day or you, if you want or just on special occasions, um, but highly recommend it as a party favor because the pups will love it and the parents will be taking nonstop pictures. Another important note here, I almost forgot, this is a doggy DIY tutorial. Um, this is my new little rescue kitty. I'm a first time cat mom, so I'm still learning. Um, but all of these ingredients are 100% great for cats as well. Um, he came out of his room meowing because I think he smells some goat's milk. That's his new favorite thing. He's still pretty young, so we're transitioning his diet. But as you can see, cats usually are pretty averse to new foods, but he is going in. He loves it. So I'm telling you, these pup tails 
meow tails. <laughs> I'm not sure. I haven't come up with a punny name for this one too, but definitely works if you have a cat and dog household as well. Okay guys, so for our last part of our tutorial, we are gonna be making a dog toy that you can make at home with any t-shirt. So here you can see the final product. This is one I made out of another t-shirt, just to show you guys. It's really nice, so I find it's kind of nasty, but I actually don't like to wash the t-shirt beforehand because uh, then it'll have your scent on it um, and it'll make your dog feel a little more comforted. You know how sometimes they'll like eat your clothes when you're not home? Um, this is a great alternative for that. Uh, use a t-shirt that you don't like instead of having them chew up shoes or something that they do, you do like. Um, so we'll just, we're gonna start. Here is a retro Healthy Spot t-shirt. This is our Ronivore t-shirt that we had. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by cutting strips from the bottom in about two inch sections. So I know it's a little hard to see, but as soon as I'm done, I will kind of show you guys what it looks like. Now, when you're doing this, you can cut up as high, as much as you like to. So make them as long as you like. If you have a larger dog and you really wanna create a longer rope toy, I suggest going all the way up the t-shirt until you reach the corner of the sleeve. I think that I'm better at dog baking, not the most craftiest person, um, but if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. If you guys have done this before, or you may have been to a Healthy Spot event, maybe in 2018 or 2019, uh, we've done events like this where you can actually take a bunch of old t-shirts that you're getting ready to donate uh, and make toys and donate them to shelters. That's a great way to help too. Um, we know that shelter pets always need, you know, a little extra care and attention, and I don't think they have a ton of toys. So, oh look, we have a little guest star. I guess it could be a cat toy too. So once your t-shirt is cut up, this isn't the prettiest looking, but again, dogs don't care. You're gonna make a line. So you're gonna cut a line right across the top. So you just take off all of these strips. So you'll just do it just like that. And you'll get, I would say, depending on how thin or thick you make the strips, you'll have about like 10 at the end, which is perfect. Okay. So you're gonna take your strips like so. They're kind of thick. Oh, here. Again, if they're not fully done. It doesn't have to be super pretty. <laughs> As you can tell, that might be a theme throughout this tutorial down and dirty with the dog toys. So you have your strips. You're gonna take two strips, probably like your thinner strips. You're gonna line all of the strips up like so. And then you'll take one here at the end. I like to make it, um, I like to leave a little bit more at the end because this is the one of the fun parts. Hey, here's George, the fam infamous George, monitoring our toy making, making sure I'm doing it just right at home, George. He's like, I know, I know this one, Mom. So, cut it, you're gonna have like a little pom-pom at the end, and you can see I tied it right here, and I just made a regular knot here that will cut off. Then, you're gonna divide it into three sections, about even. So here we have, as you can see, the three different sections, and you're just gonna braid it. So you're gonna take one over the other and just braid it like you would braid hair. I'm not gonna be able to get into a braiding tutorial today, <laughs> so if you don't know how to braid hair, YouTube that and then come back to this. So you're gonna braid it all the way down. And again, I like to leave a little palm at the end. We'll make it a little bit cuter. And then tie the other side with that last strip that you have. And the great thing about this is all you need is a t-shirt that you wanna upcycle 
and a pair of scissors. Okay, so now you have it. It's looking a little, like, maybe not as cute as we want it. So cut off these strips here. Gotta make it a little bit pretty. And we have another strip over here. If any of the braids came out, like, like this one kind of came out, looks a little funks, you can just tuck it right in. Spread these out. And then I'm gonna cut the ends so they're just even. We'll go a little more flush. George is gonna have a good day today. All the treats, all the toys. Truly treat your pup. It's almost a holiday weekend, so I think that'll be perfect. Give him a little something extra to do. So in here, that took about five minutes. You have a brand new toy for your pup that they're gonna love and it's gonna smell like you. George, come here, come here, come here. What's this, what's this, come on. Oh, I think we have a winner. <laughs>